So, so we think that, uh, and the sensor is, has, has a very interesting property. Uh, and that is that it, that it, that it registers an encounter which, with one of these lipid derived carbon and molecules, then changes its state. So each of these molecules can hold one bit of information. It flips mm -hmm. from one state to the other, and then it stays stably in that other state until it is reset by electrical activity. So you can imagine if you have one of these sleep inducing neurons that has thousands of these channel and sensor molecules. And uh, if you observe, if you could observe the cell and these molecules over time, as the mitochondria burn fuel and respire and use oxygen, and there's sort of a gradual electron leak and gradual levels of lipid peroxidation, these carbonyls appear one of, after the other. And once a carbonyl hits one of these sensors, it flips its state. So, can, so the cell can literally basically count and remember past history of producing these nasty chemicals exactly. as a consequence exactly. of oxygen-based metabolism. And then at some point you reach a threshold or whatever, and the neuron becomes active. So, so essentially, if we put these things together, you're saying the neurons naturally get turned on by a signal of how many of these nasty metabolic byproducts have been produced. That's exactly what, what, what seems to be the case. So you can think of it sort of that, that, that the total amount you've spent awake or, or, or what's, what's called technically sleep pressure, your, the, the, your need to sleep is sort of a continuous variable, right? Sort of it, it, and, and you have these many of these digital binary devices. And so what, what the cell does through this counting mechanism, it, it quantizes the continuous variable into the discrete binary states of, of this large population of, of, of ion channels. So it's like in a, in a, in an audio recording where you convert the analog waveform of music into the bits that you then store in digital form, right? It converts the analog appearance of these, uh, of these lipid peroxidation products in, in, into a digital memory that's then read out. And, um, and induces sleep when, when the fill level of the system reaches a certain level. Okay. So, so, and, and just to say it explicitly for people, normally when we think about memory, we often think about, you know, the connections between neurons and things like this, but we're talking about a system here that's all within one cell. This is one cell that's keeping track of its basic, basically it's metabolic history by right. converting this analog signal in, into a, a digital signal. 